Europe has so much to gain as a connected, competitive continent, especially if we capture the op opportunities of the future Internet. Not just a new platform, but a springboard for economic growth across Europe. Stepping onto the scene are four main characters. The cloud, big data, the Internet of Things and fast networking. The John, Paul, George and Ringo of a new online paradigm. Taken together, they could mean a fully connected world. Seamless networks, merged, fixed and mobile. Virtual networks defined by software. Connected devices, constant connectivity. Downloading and uploading instantly from locker in the cloud. These fields are not just developing fast, they are converging, reinforcing one another and benefiting our economy. We are working to support all those pillars, like with an ambitious public-private partnership on 5G, working together as Europe and with other parts of the world too, on a common approach and for a common scope. 700 million euros in EU funding, complemented by private funding, to be altogether worth 3 billion, ensuring today's essential 4G investment repays far into the future, and we are building trust in the cloud. Just a couple of weeks ago, the European Cloud Partnership started consulting on their vision of trusted cloud for Europe. We should never forget what this change means for our economy, nor what it means for every European. Here are two ways to support it. First, we can support by providing the right framework for this network. The future internet needs the right conditions. Cloud computing and big data need economies of scale. Too small a market and innovations won't take off. It doesn't make sense to have borders online, not even with today's internet and certainly not for tomorrow's. And your mobile needs to be mobile, not permanently switched off whenever you travel. Your proposals our proposals for a connected continent would bring the single market boost to the networks underpinning connectivity, helping operators provide seamless services across Europe, ensuring a genuinely borderless network where you can guarantee quality and security between countries, ending the blocking and throttling that stifle innovative new services and opening the door to new specialized services as long as they do not slow down the general internet, coordinating the spectrum that tomorrow's devices will rely on, bringing roaming charges in Europe to an end. And here's the second way I want to support, using the most powerful tool to build the future internet. What is that? It's you. Entrepreneurs and startups, businesses and researchers, engineers and academics, not to mention the men on the street, and users who ultimately demand and enjoy those new ideas every day. You are the ones who can identify the problems we face, design the solutions to meet them, test and validate them, and ensure they become a viable reality. We and our whole Future Internet program are here to support you. Our Future Internet Lab is up and running, giving you the experimental platforms, resources, and building blocks you need. And in the next phase, we are putting 100 million euros on the table. 16 groups will act as accelerators, helping 1,000 startups and small businesses develop new software and services, not to mention competitions with a prize fund approaching 1 million. So if you have ideas, send them in, find new partners, and let's build a better internet together. Thank you.